Ladies and gentlemen, hello and you are watching TTV News with some latest events in the province. And now we come into details. Ladies and gentlemen, on November 26, 2021, the 5th Division held a conference to review and honor typical galaxy and individuals in the prevention and control of the COVID-19 pandemic. During the last fourth wave of COVID-19 pandemic, with the spirit of fighting against the pandemic and saving the people, the 5th Division constantly supported the provinces in the South Division of Vietnam in terms of the people, human resources, food, equipment, medical supplies, etc., forming a steel shield to help the people overcome difficulties and control the COVID-19 pandemic. Among the advanced assembled is the senior lieutenant Huynh Công Hậu, information platoon of the 6th Battalion, the 5th Regiment, who performed the in every alley to knock it on doors and proactively reaching out to the people to support the welfare care back, food, food stuff and commodities, essential necessities and medicines for the treatment of diseases. Captain Chowangman, political commissioner of Battalion the 9th Regiment of 271 successfully completed the task of maintaining the green zone and narrowing the red zone in a sized area, especially in the case of the soldier Hun Tang Fu in the 6th Battalion, the 5th Regiment. Unfortunately, his mother passed away while Fu was participating in the fight against the pandemic. But the soldier Fu still tried to suppress his pain and overcome difficulties to accomplish the assigned mission. Mr. Volik Trong, standing by chairman of the provincial people's committee, said that the outbreak of the fall pandemic has had a great impact on the socio-economic situation of the province as well as the southern of Vietnam. The local pandemic prevention and control is also at the highest level with the attention of direct support of the 5th Division. The companies have mobilized about 350 soldiers and 176 military men of the 5th Division for the health people of the province who have participated in the localities. In all fields of taking sample for testing, screening, vaccination, the social security security work with has brought positive and good results nice for local. In the process of supporting localities to prevent and control the COVID-19 pandemic, the 5th Division has worked 19 collectives and about 38 individuals with special achievements that have been commented by the Ministry of Defense. Military Division 7 Command commanded about 32 collectives and 74 individuals. Particularly, Division No. 5 was proposed by the Ministry of National Defense to be awarded the third class federal defense orders. On the morning of November 26, Mr. Yu Wakan, Chief Office of Provincial People's Council, Chair of Press Conference, to announce the program of the second meeting of the Provincial People's Council for the term of 2021 to 2026. Accordingly, the meeting is expected to take place in three days from December 7 to the night of 2021. Then, and radio and television station will broadcast live the opening section, question and answer sections, and closing sections. At the second section, the delegation of the National Assembly of the Province will report the results of the second section of the 50th National Assembly meeting. The Vietnam Federal Front Committee of the Province will announce coordination activities to participate in construction of the government in 2021. The meeting will also consider 15 reports of the Provincial People's Committee, including the Provincial State Financial Report in 2021. 20, report of the implementation of the Social Economic Development Plan in 2021 and the Social Economic Development Plan in 2022 also, and the Anti-Corruption Report of 2021 and others. In the question and answer section, the delegates will question the department and functional agencies about the prevention and control of COVID-19 pandemic in the area as well as implementing the support in the people facing difficulties due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, the solution in the near future. The second section of the Provincial People's Council will also consider the resolution about 13 individual resolutions and 15 legal resolutions. The meeting will also dismiss and elect additional members of the Provincial People's Committee for the term of 2021 to 2026. In 2020, the Provincial People's Committee easy decision number 5A6 on the implementation plan of action program 217 of the Ronso Party Committee on orientation to perfect institution and policy and improve the quality and efficiency of foreign investment cooperation by 2030. Accordingly, the province has established up administrative reform called for selective investment and has had initial results. 
In the first 10 months of 2021, the province has two certificates and investment policies for 12 new FDI projects with a registered capital of over 91 million US dollars. The whole province has about 17 FDI projects that increase the capital with more than 639 million US dollars. Four projects reduce capital by more than 83 million US dollars, and besides, with four projects that cease operation. The FDI projects are registered in most of the district towns and cities of the province, in which they are concentrated mainly in Dangbang Town, with about 203 projects, accounting for 62% of FDI projects in the province, and Goyao District, with about 67 projects, accounting for 20% of FDI projects in the whole province. There are two areas with advantages in traffic located along National Highway 22, border to Ho Chi Minh City, convenient in import and export of goods and saving logistic costs, and to diversify the markets closely linked with other partners. The provincial people's committee signed six international cooperation agreements with two cities of Kim He, Chungku of Korea, and four provinces of striving Preven, Tong Mun, Kamong Cham of Cambodia. The province opened the opportunity to attract investment in economic, culture, and society, in which there are strong fields such as agriculture and commerce. And ladies and gentlemen, in the event of the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, the e-commerce has become a playground for the businesses, especially those involved in cross-border trade, to maintain business operation while ensuring the pandemic prevention requirements. In 2021, e-commerce is still a growing industry thanks to the coordination of policies from the government and the solutions to support online business from logistics and surprises in the context of the pandemic, as well as the strong push of industry 4.0. Besides the growth of domestic e-commerce, according to the Vietnam E-commerce Association, cross-border e-commerce has increased to 25.7% compared to last year. Economic experts said that cross-border e-commerce will be an extremely effective channel for the businesses to expand their markets, especially for Vietnamese goods. The National Plan for E-commerce Development in 2021 to 2025 period aims to make e-commerce one of the pioneering areas of the digital economy to increase business efficiency, enhance the competitiveness of businesses, and promote the growth of domestic markets and exports. On November 26, Dangwang Agricultural Service Cooperative in Tân Phú Khamun, Tân Châu District, will establish Mr. Trần Minh Bang, was elected chairman of the board of directors and director of the cooperative. Dangwang Agricultural Service Cooperative consists of 14 members. Charter capital is about 850 million Vietnam dong. The main activities of the cooperatives are trading in agricultural materials, supplying all kinds of plant varieties, organizing the production and consumption of post harvest products of rice, vegetables, and fruits of all kinds, providing care services, product harvesting, design consulting, agricultural project planning also. According to the plan, every year, Dangwan Agricultural Service Cooperatives provide farmers with seeds and plants with an area of about 160 hectares, builds a vegetable consumption chain to 50 hectares, and a fruit tree chain of about 10 hectares, including red fruits and mango. Mr. La Hu Nghi, chairman of the Tenant Cooperative Union, said that the establishment of cooperatives showed that the cooperative's economic motto has affirmed the role of linking members suitable with the process of building a cooperative society for the new style rural construction. And up to now, the province has about 20 newly established cooperatives. Ladies and gentlemen, since November 22nd, locality how elemented official letter number 4150 of the Bronzo People Committee, strengthening the elementation of COVID-19 prevention and control measure. How are people aware of the sea prevention at places where they are likely to be last round and how is QR code scanning done at public places? Our correspondent report from Hoa Thanh Thao. Up to now, most stores, pharmacies, supermarkets and offices in Hoa Thanh Thao have been equipped with QR codes and places in the most convenient location for the people to do when they arrive transaction. Most of the people have virtually become accustomed to medical declaration by scanning QR codes, even those who have not experienced in using information technology. Some business units also have regularly reminded the people to scan the QR codes and keep distance when coming to the contact and the services. I don't have much to worry about, I just keep my distance. I can disinfect. Whenever I go, I finish my work and I will laugh. 
in the long haul market area, customers and small business traders have on a tier to keep in their distance and listen facts regularly. Sometimes the market is quite crowded in the early morning. The market management board and small traders have reminded and instructed market goers to practice distance and move quickly after purchasing. <laughs> I ask people to keep distance. I ask this person to buy it before coming to the other person. You also see the people buy it right away and so people are still standing outside the car. Most of the coffee shops and restaurants in the center of Hotan Town have done well to remind customers to keep their distance, do not serve more than a specified number of guests. The business owners are most afraid that their business will be interrupted, so they should take good measures to prevent the pandemic from spreading. In general, the situation of the keeping distance limit mass gathering, scanning QR codes at transaction points in Watan Town is being done well, until there are still some people who are negligent, subjective without complying with the 5K messages principle in Vietnamese in public areas. The business units also said they will strengthen instruction and mobilize the customers to implement 5K messages in Vietnamese to ensure the safety for the community and safety for production and business also. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all for today's TTV News. Thank you for joining with us and see you next time.